vice president elect Al Haj Dr. Mahmoud Baumia and the president elect His Excellency Nana Ado Dankwa Akufuado. I, Mahmoud Baumia, having been elected to the office of vice president. Having been elected to the office of Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, of the Republic of Ghana, do in the name of the Almighty God swear, do in the name of the Almighty God swear, that I will be faithful, that I will be faithful and true to the Republic of Ghana, and true to the Republic of Ghana, Doctor. Muhammad Baumia signing the old book. I, Nana Adodankwa Akufu Ado, having been elected to the high office of President of the Republic of Ghana, having been elected to the high office of the President of the Republic of Ghana. Do in the name of the Almighty God swear. Do in the name of the Almighty God swear. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful. And true to the Republic of Ghana. And true to the Republic of Ghana. Ladies, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. The President of the Republic of Ghana, with the sword of office. A new dawn has arisen in Ghana, which will enable us to build a new Ghanaian civilization, which will be the beacon of Africa and the wonder of the world. I thank you all, my fellow citizens, for making me the President of this beautiful country. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and may God bless our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong, and may God bless us all, and Mother Ghana, Africa. ECOWAS faces perhaps the most difficult situation in the Gambia. After accepting his loss in elections, President Chame reversed course and questioned the results of the elections. He has submitted his grievances to the Supreme Court, which will start this review process on January 10. ECOWAS is closely following the process, and the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Muhammadu Buhari, is leading the effort as ECOWAS mediator. We call on the people of the Gambia to follow the example of Ghana and put the interests of the nation above all personal interests. ECOWAS stands by the people of the Gambia and will exercise every effort to sustain peace and democracy. We stand with the people of Gambia and want to assure them of our unwavering adherence to the principles of democracy in our entire region.